right, so here is the otherworldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face. He wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage. He's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Khabib Nurmagomedov steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC heavyweight championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon, looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones set to fight the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Abima the Eagle, Nimama Meta. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight. Champion of the world, John Bones! John! And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so we get another look at John Bones Jones here tonight. He immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see if he goes to the striking here early. You know he can also grapple with the best of them, but an obvious reach advantage yet again for John Bones Jones tonight. 84 and a half inches in reach, something that is very difficult for opponents to count. Nice three attack there, and able to land the body. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the left. Oh, that's a perfect body shot there. He's I mean, that's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Sneaky head kick. Just over three minutes to go on our full shot. Throws the teeth. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several 
failed attempts. He finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Getting the ball here. Setting up a sub attempt. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Wow, that is great submission defense. Big ground and pound. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nermago Meta. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. What a strike from off of his back. Now he's going full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. First round winding down here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Great job, Dad. Just... I thought he was going to tap out. We want to do the same thing again this round. Keep the pressure on. All right, so somehow, some way, we will fight onward. There was a big liver shot there that buckled his opponent. DC, here's your replay. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than taking one of those shots right to the liver. It shuts everything down. You got to be so tough to stay standing after you take a strike like that. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, another big moment here for your teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. Human being there, but this guy just doesn't seem to matter. Perhaps this will be the round in which the wrestler actually goes for a takedown. He's not even fainting shots. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chain. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Back and forth go. These two were intent to make a good fight. Oh. Beautiful left chain. He's so taken. Trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. No, I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> this is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Fight for that wrist control now. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. And the 
referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Fight. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let's go. Gets to the single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Right. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Spinning back fist. Back and forth we go! Loads up on the right hand and lands. He's hurt. Jones is going for a choke here. Oh, got to protect your neck. PT choke is locked in. Oh, he got, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward and off to the side. Roll to his back to release that pressure. The hard ground pound is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. All right, feet on the hips here. He passed the half guard. Jones is back in full now. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Changing the position. Nermanko Medoff back into full guard. Ground and pound strike there now. Side control now. Nice side there by the champ. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Oh, right into Mount. He's got to be careful here. Big elbow there, Lance. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Jones. Setting up a sub here. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Come on. That is so deep. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I got to stop writing these dudes obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, kick and go. You tell yourself you can do anything in 10 minutes. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Get them out here. He's got to be careful here. Under three minutes to go in round four. Right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Beautiful transition. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities Mago Medov getting pounded by those hammer fists. We might get a stoppage here. Massive shot from the top. Mago Medov's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. That guillotine was tight. Ooh! What a great job attacking the lock. Roll it to your back, giving up the mount. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Yep, that gives you feet. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You gotta oh. keep position oh. over submission. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. You he just wants to continue to make you work the you entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot. To close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Mago Medov's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Gotta figure out a way to lower the guard. Well, now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on 
the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. The winner by submission. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Fernando Mena. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world. When you're